Hey guys, so I bought this old uh, sign board from a thrift store maybe like a couple months ago. You can see I already got Cory written on there. I, I liked, I think it was like four bucks. It had some reindeer stuff on it, but I pulled it off. But I like this old one because, you know, I could have made this myself, no problem. But if you look at those old nails, they're the old antique square nails. It's an old rusty looking chain. So I think it's a pretty cool piece of wood for my, for my nephew. Corey, I'm gonna put his. Uh, I'm gonna carve his name on it with my Dremel and the little wall tile cutter bit. I said I was gonna make a video about this, so this is what's gonna be. And I'm gonna use, I believe, my one of my roto zips. So, anyways, I'm gonna sound this off, okay? So I have a clear template, and then um, my friend Lawrence is gonna help print me off his name from the computer, and then I'm gonna transfer it to the wood. And then that's when we'll I'll start showing you guys what I'm up to. Okay, guys, so I got the board cleaned up. I can see it's a bit blotchy, but I don't care because this thing's going to be really antique looking when I'm uh, done it anyways. I just cleaned it up with this uh, Orbit Sander. Really good tool to have, guys, if you want to start making signs and to clean up flat surfaces. <music> I believe this is pine this is pine wood guys so um i gotta make this video really quick and i said i was going to make a video about how i use this dremel attachment it comes with most kits dremel kits to uh carve start carving this sign okay so this i'm using this roto zip okay this is one of my go-to burrs guys you can buy it at any any uh, home depot or major hardware store it's a roto zip wall tile cutter bit okay they um these are really aggressive and they last forever this one's a bit dirty i might need to clean it out the wood, see the wood stuck in there but anyways that's how far we're deep we're going to go into the carving today where you can see it's clean on the end there so all you do is you put you know i got uh the dremel 4300 i'm running today you just put your burr in normal okay so that burr's in there I should have pushed it out a little bit. Now all you do is this real simple tool, guys. You know, Dremel also does make a, a plunge router thing attachment. But not everybody can afford this. I also have a great great little router and all different sorts of stuff. But I want to make this video of this today for people. You don't have to have a 4300. You can run a Dremel uh, multi-pro. You can run a Dremel anything for this. Okay, guys? This will just be a little bit faster running this 4300. So all you do with this attachment is you just screw it on. Okay, there, it's on. Easy. Now you can see there the depth of my of my burr inside there when you're going to be carving in the letter. So you can see the depth right there. Okay, so that's too deep for me. So all I do is just loosen this up. If it goes loose, sometimes they strip. I've used this a lot. This is how I started doing my uh, signs. Okay, hold on. Another. I got another one here. Let me grab it. Okay, so all you do is loosen this up, and this piece will go in and out. Okay, see it? So that's I'll set my depth. You don't need to go too deep on this, guys. So let's see how that is. You can always practice on a sp spare piece of wood. So that's my depth there. You can see the bit on the thing, and that's deep enough for me. See, that's how deep it's going to carve. Right where it hits the wood, the burr there. Okay, so that's that. And you guys tighten these up really good, okay? Because you don't want them moving around, like, depth when you're doing the outlines. This is just for the outline, okay? After the, the outline, I'll show you what burr I'm going to switch to. It will be one of the aluminum cutters 
you guys can buy on eBay sets of 10 for like 15, 20 bucks. Because you can see the bottom's a cutter there too on the burr. Okay? So after I get the outlines cut with the that one burr in there, then I'll switch to the uh, aluminum cutter. Okay? One sec. Okay, I believe this is carbon transfer paper, okay? So all I'm going to do is lay this down here. My friend Lawrence and his wife helped me print this off on their computer. I can do it, but I just didn't have time. So, and it's good to make the, the outside of the letters um, just lines because then you can try, you can, it's easier to, to know what you've gone over. So you make sure the transfer paper is like this. So then you go down here like this. Okay. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is you center this thing on here, right? You find the center of the letters and you center it on the board or wherever you want to put it. So what I'm going to do is, and I'll tape this down, and then I'll transfer it with a pencil. Oh, hold on a second. Got to do it this way. Because it would have been, if I went this way, it would have been backwards. What am I thinking, Jordan? Okay, so let me get that done. So, okay, so I got that. Um, I didn't have a tape measure to measure thing out, so I guarantee this thing is going to look crooked when it comes off here. But, oh, well, it's a homemade thing. I didn't have tape measure, and I don't, don't have time to deal with it. So I got my pencil. So all I'm going to do now... Is just go on the outside of the let on the lines and just copy the lines. This one has a bunch of different lines, but I'll just use the center line. The more time you guys spend on preparation, the better your piece will turn out too. This thing I want to look kind of rustic looking, so like it, you can see the paper's not uh, some spots isn't taped down enough and it gets loose kind of. But whatever okay so all the letters should be stenciled on oops forgot the I always forget something forgot the zero the O and the zero and the, the zero and the O so we can just draw that in you guys it doesn't have to be perfect this is just a friggin it's a it's a old barn rustic looking piece of board so it, it's already see it's a little bit crooked kind of goes down this way but that's okay you can hold the sign crooked I just don't have the time to make try and make everything perfect right now okay so my dr plug my Dremel in and uh, get going I got my my burr set there okay guys it's also good to remember when you're holding this thing and you're doing the carving on the outside letters keep Keep the base very flat, you know, just go take you take your time go really slow because this is a small base And it can get tippy when you pretend my hands are wood when you're on the wood It can get tippy like this. So just remember to keep it nice and flat against the wood You know and just let the bird do the work When you have something like this It's got a bigger base and it's not so tippy so it stays on the wood nice and smooth and another note I want to make too I sanded this up a lot better before I did the carving because for number one, this plastic thing will travel smoothly along the, the, the smooth wood. And number two, when you go to paint these letters, okay, you already got them carved in. You go to paint them. You don't have to really do any much set. You have to do some sanding, but not that much. Because after you paint these letters, and it's still rough out here, you got to sand all this weight away to make smooth. You might sand so low. That you sand into your letters and then start sanding away your carved out letters okay so these letters are going to be carved in it's going to be hollow inside the letters Okay, personally on this, I think I've done a crappy job. I just rushed myself. I shouldn't have, you can't do this stuff when you rush, guys, because you can see the, the words coming down like this, the Y, the bottom of the letter, but whatever. Um, okay, so I got this, uh, I got my, um, uh, what is it, uh, aluminum cutting burr in there now. So now I'm going to reset up and I'm going to take away most of the bulk in here. Okay. I can't film when I'm doing this, guys. I tried it with one hand, but it just doesn't work very well. 
Okay, you can see here I got all the letters carved in. You guys got to remember too, when you're carving with that uh, with that uh, Dremel and that little uh, wall tile attachment kit that you get with things, you're not you're not um, a pro sign carver. You're just learning to see if you like carving signs or not. Myself, I'm not a fan of carving them. But and it, guys, remember too, this is a homemade gift for my nephew. It's for him. It doesn't matter really how it looks. He's gonna love it either which way. You know what I mean? So also, I can't not give him the sign without a wood spirit on the sign. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a. T I'm not gonna show me carving this, guys. I'm gonna blast it off real quick. But I'll just say this. See this high point of the wood right here? That's gonna be the tip of his nose. And I got the nose drawn out there too, so I can play it by ear, right? So, you know, so I got a, a template. Okay. So that tip should be over here a little bit more. But anyways, I'm going to carve this in and then we'll color in these letters after. No sense coloring in the letters now because you're still going to be making sawdust. Copy button. Okay, so I had to put this piece on hold. I started at Christmas Eve. I wanted to get it done for Corey for Christmas, but I just didn't have time Christmas Eve. I had to go to a few family functions, family and friends. So anyways... Today is Boxing Day. I just quickly carved in the wood spirit there. And there's his name. So you guys, you know, when you're using this Dremel thing, just in the, that uh, wall, that attachment that I showed you earlier, it's just for beginning sign carvers, you know? So just so you can decide if you want to upgrade to um, a nice router or whatever, whatever kind of thing you want. But you know, this is a present, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You can see in here, you can see my cut lines in there still. Where's the Y? Yeah, so see there, you can see my cut marks down here. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. So I'm going to paint it. I like the way that wood spirit turned out. You see, I just kind of carved in a little bit of a face there. So anyways, I'm going to paint this now. There's two ways you can paint this, for me anyways, okay? Um, some, some people will spray paint the whole thing. And it gets all the paint in there, and then you can sand the paint off later. Or you can just get, uh, what I got here is I got dollar store paint, okay? And uh, I'm just going to, got the carbon fusion paint tray here. Always for sale, guys, these paint trays. Comes with a brush if you want, used. Uh, just paint inside the letters here. Okay, so I'll get that all done. And uh, we'll come back. Okay guys, so I got it all painted in there. It's all dry. So what I'm gonna do now is run around with my little flap sander that I got. I use a whole lot of my tools, a lot of my carvings. You guys can see how I make these in my playlist. It's a Dremel, little further with a flathead screw on the top. And this is emery cloth sandpaper. Okay, I'm just gonna run around, clean up all the edges. Okay guys, so here it is just about wrapped up. You see how I burnt the wood? I'm not too sure what, if it's pine wood or not. Um, it feels a little bit harder than pine because it's got those little things in there, the same kind of wood that, uh, same kind of, you know, those little holes like oak has. So you never know, this might be an oak piece. See those little holes in there? But anyways, just shows, goes to show you how easy it is to uh, make a simple gift for somebody. Corey will have this for the rest of his life. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clear coat of it. Clear coat on. Um, I think I got some Krylon stuff here. And um, let's see how it looks after I spray the clear coat on it. Okay, guys, it's all done. Sure went darker after I put the, um, the clear coat on it. I just used the lacquer, guys. Needs a couple more coats. But just goes to show you how easy it is to carve something with this simple little Dremel tool on any type of Dremel and that uh, wall tile cutter bit. You know, you know, guys, so like I said in my other videos, the more different bits you have for carving, the better it's going to work out for you. 
you know, like those uh, Chinese burrs, those Chinese 10 set burrs for uh, metal working and aluminum cutting. Those wall tire cutter bits, all your cut saw, go to the link below. Go to cut saw, use code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas. And we got the live feed for the giveaway coming up in a few hours here. So 5 o'clock Pacific time. Hope everybody's great. Thanks.